Sadly, I've been labeled and called a legalist by other Christians, and I can understand why. To the uneducated, lukewarm Christian, my life of repentance and outward expression of holiness seems legalistic. However, the Bible refers to all these things as being born again. Now, legalism depends on two things, what side of salvation you're on and the intentions of your heart. In plainer terms, are you working your way to be saved? Or are you working because you already are saved? And so, because legalism is often misunderstood, it's essential to clarify what it does not mean. Legalism is not obedience to God's commandments. Rather, the Bible calls that love. Legalism is not holiness. The Bible calls that sanctification and encourages believers to be set apart from this wicked world. Friends, legalism is a religious act that imposes rigid standards beyond what the scriptures require. Legalism distorts true faith by turning genuine love for God's law into a burdensome system of external rules. Legalism goes beyond loving obedience and adds human merit, teaching that salvation is earned based on human effort, which is indeed wrong. Believers must guard themselves against this type of falsehood, ensuring that their obedience springs from a heart transformed by God's grace. Above all, we must understand that our freedom in Christ is a freedom from the curse of sin, not a freedom to willfully disobey God's law. Sadly, many Christians have been deceived by the lies of the enemy, and as a result, they believe that obeying the law of God is somehow wrong. Ironically, they claim that the law is bondage, when in reality, the Bible says it's their sin that holds them in bondage. I also find it hypocritical that most churches have no problem with the laws of tithing, yet when it comes to other laws that could benefit their health, like the Sabbath or clean foods, they shout legalism. As children of God, we are no longer slaves to sin because we have become slaves to righteousness. To find out more about other theologies or churches you should avoid, please watch my other teachings in these videos. Also, if you're interested in real biblical Christianity, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. God bless.